What's up, it's Hugo here. Today I'm going to be making a quick video showing you the basics of After Effects since that's my most requested video ever. Um, if you're wondering why I didn't do those videos earlier on, um, it's because first off I'm not that good in After Effects so I don't know a ton of stuff, I just know the basics and a few extras I learned here and there. And second off, um, I just have a MacBook so I don't have the best Mac out there. Um, so Recording my screen at the same time working on After Effects uh, doesn't work so well all the time. Uh, but for the basics, I'm, I'm able to do that since we're not going to be doing any uh, complex stuff. But uh, later on, I'll try to make more advanced tutorials like how to make an advanced 3D intro and stuff like that when I have a new Mac or a um, better Mac. And uh, I'll be sure to make plenty of tutorials on my second channel. But don't worry, I'll notify you on this channel as well. So let's get right into it. Uh, I'm going to be using After Effects CS4 for those uh, basic uh, tutorial series, which is going to be, I don't know, three or four videos. Um, but the basic stuff works on almost any version of After Effects. Um, so if you have CS1, CS2, CS3, CS4, or CS5, uh, it all works. And of course, for future versions, it almost always works. Um, so, yep. Uh, first off, when you start off After Effects, by default, it's going to put this little welcome screen, but you can set that off if you want to. Um, and I'm just, we're not going to use that. Um, so, I'm just going to put my timeline back up because that's the default interface. Uh, so, I'm quickly going to go over through the interface or the workspace. Um, as you see, you have a ton of little windows everywhere, a ton of tabs. Um, a bit all over the screen and all that together is called the workspace I personally call it the interface but uh, yeah it kind of stands for the same thing and I'm just gonna quickly go over to what they do each of them so uh, starting with the top left here we have the project panel uh, here you're gonna put all your content so all your footage uh, your audio your pictures or still images um, your video of course and uh, you're all gonna put that into there you can make those little folders as well to organize it better and uh, basically that's gonna hold everything uh, that's contained in your project um, so also your compositions but I'm gonna go over uh, the difference between project and composition in a minute um, so then going right of that uh, we have um, the canvas or the stage um, so it can be called both but I call it the canvas most of the time and uh, this is where you're going to see what you're making. So uh, whatever you're doing in your timeline is going to show up what your, what the final product is going to look like if you do that. And it's going to show that in the canvas. So you have that in any uh, decent video editing program. You always have a canvas. So that's basically where you see the result of what you're doing. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. Then uh, at the bottom, we have the timeline. So here you're going to import all your footage, audio, text, whatever you're making. You're gonna put it in here, and uh, you're gonna organize it here. You can change uh, what what time you're gonna well, basically organize all your footage and what order you're gonna do it and stuff like that. So uh, that's a uh, really important. You use your timeline all the time, and that's uh, where you basically create your product. So uh, yeah. Um, at the right side, we have a few default stuff. These are the default stuff. Although uh, I'm used to a bigger screen right now. I'm on holiday, so I don't have my big screen, but uh, I have it set up a little bit different and uh, if you go into the window uh, in the menu bar you have those ton of different um, little windows and if you click on one for example paragraph boom it's gonna pop up a new one and uh, you can move those around wherever you want you see it sets those little things you can uh, for example you wanted a tab here boom you make the tab there you want to put it back up there you want to put it on top uh, you, want, you want to put it on top, it might not look so good, but uh, you want to put it at the side. Whatever you want, you can drag them wherever you want. Um, so, yeah. But these are the default ones. You got your info about uh, your color, RGB. A uh, bit of general knowledge here. RGB stands for red, green, and blue, if you didn't know. And uh, with those three colors, you can create whatever other color that exists. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the really basic of it. Um, then you have your audio, so you're going to see the things moving when you have audio in your footage. Uh, then you have characters, so that's the standard thing you see in other words, like Word or Pages. If you're creating text, you can choose your font right here. You can choose 
your uh, font style. You can choose the color of your text, uh, the size, the space, or whatever. Everything related to text. Then you have a little tab next to that. I'm not sure if that's default. Effects and preset, uh, as it says, uh, contains a ton of effects. And uh, I'm going to go over a few of them. Obviously not all because there are a lot of them uh, in the further tutorials in this basic series. Uh, so you will be using those quite a lot, actually, uh, pretty often. Um, so, yep. Yeah. I'm just going to set this back to a character. Um, so I already explained the timeline. As I said, you can add whatever little um, window you want. And uh, let's get to uh, how to begin your thing. So uh, whatever you're doing, uh, if it's uh, an intro, an animation, graphical animation, or you're editing some gameplay footage, I know a lot of you do that. Um, so yeah, uh, how do you start off? So first off, you want to import your footage, or you can also start from blank. Um, so I'll be covering that in more advanced, like how to start an intro totally from blank. I'll be covering that too, uh, but not in this video. Um, how to import footage? Well, it's really simple. You go to File, Import Footage, and then Multiple Files. So you can select multiple files at the same time. You want that, uh, you want that, or that, whatever. You can choose whatever you want, and then you say Open, and it's going to import them. Uh, so that's one way you can do it, simply by going to File and Import. And the second way is even easier, it's simply drag and drop. So uh, if I show my icons here, I've got this uh, clip here. I simply drag and drop to my project panel, and uh, boom, it appears. Uh, so as I said here, you can create folders if you want to create a folder. Um, make this music and then the rest video and stuff like that. I don't know. You can uh, create whatever uh, folder you want. And you can organize this really nice and stuff. Um, so yeah, once you have your footage, you want to create a composition. So a composition is uh, the clip you're working on or the clip you're going to edit uh, or basically your final result most of the time. But you can make multiple composition in one project. Uh, I hope you can understand that. A project contains everything, um, but a co you can have a ton of different compositions uh, into a project. So a composition can be one scene, for example, you're making a movie, it has 10 scenes. Well, each scene, you uh, for each scene, you're going to make one composition, for example. So, uh, yeah, and then the final composition is going to be all of the scenes after each other. Um, so that's basically how the compositions work. Uh, once you want to start off, you can simply drag your footage to the timeline or drag it to this little film strip icon. Uh, it's going to automatically start a composition, put your stuff in the timeline as well. And it's going to create the composition exactly the same size as um, your footage was. So uh, if your footage was a uh, 1080 uh, pixel by, I mean, 1940 by 1080, so full HD resolution is going to come up with a full HD canvas, or at least a resolution a composition is going to be the same size as your clip. So once you start out of your composition, I'm just going to go over through the main tools. On the top, you've got your uh, tool panel. So the first three are kind of straightforward. Selection tool, hand tool, and zoom tool, obviously to zoom. And then you have rotation tool, which is also pretty straightforward to rotate whatever you are working on. And then you got your camera tools, which might not be totally, you might not know exactly what that is. I'll go over that in a minute. And then we have the rectangle tool. So that's basically to create whatever you want as a figure. Uh, so if you click and hold, you're going to have like a ton of different variants or different tools. Rounded rectangle tool, eclipse tool, polygon tool, star tool, um, stuff like that. Then you have your pen tool. Again, a ton of different variants if you click and hold. Your text tool. So you'll notice that whatever tool you click on, boom, it popped up a new window because that's related to the text. So boom, it pops up the paragraph window or the paragraph panel. So that's pretty cool. So you got the standard and the vertical type tool. Then you got your brush, clone stamp tool, and eraser tool. So if you're used to Photoshop, you will probably know what those are. Uh, if you're not, don't worry about it. We won't be using that for now. Um, so, yep. Um, auto open panels, yeah. You don't worry about those uh, options. Just leave them by default. Uh, we never change those. Oh, at least I don't. Um, so once you have your footage again, first off, I want to also talk about this little thing, the resolution. Um, depending on your computer, uh, this, this speed on your computer, 
um, I'm just gonna put this like normal. Uh, depending on the speed on your of your computer, uh, it's gonna render at a certain speed. So if you have a really fast computer, uh, the newest of the newest is gonna render really fast. If you have a slower, uh, it's gonna render less fast. And uh, to uh, make it more easy for you, uh, they've included this little feature where you can see your account OS, you can see your footage, obviously, and you can choose in what uh, resolution you want to see that. If you want to see it in full resolution, so I'm going to put all the detail exactly what you're going to see, half, because obviously in full it's going to take more time to render. So if you're scrubbing through and stuff, uh, right now it's not, you don't really see that it takes a lot of time, but you'll see that once you add a ton of effects and stuff, it's going to take a while. And you can put it half so it renders quicker, uh, even lower, third, and quarter, and even custom. So, uh, yep, that's the first thing because I always change that, so I always like to uh, point that out. Um, then, for uh, the timeline, uh, a few basic stuff you got your eyes, the eye icon is, stands for uh, visible or not. Uh, so, let me create text now to show you what it exactly does, the little eye, if you're not used to it. Uh, so I go to the text tool, uh, let me close this, and I click on my footage where I want to create my text, I uh, put my text in, so I'm going to put hello, and uh, once I choose my text, I can go ahead and change my font, whatever I want, I want that font, I put that font, uh, I mean it's like a normal um, text editing, uh, you can change the color here, I want to put it to blue for example, green, I don't know, let's put it to really uh, flash of green and uh, you can change the size you want to make it smaller you want to make it bigger boom 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 okay you kind of got that um, so every time you're going to create something new for example text boom it pops up a new thing in your uh, timeline so as I was talking about the eyes if I put an eye it's still there but it's invisible so once you're going to render it you want to be sure that it is visible you want, don't want to miss out stuff um, so yeah it shows if it's visible or not uh, so that's pretty straightforward and then you have the sound which obviously if your clip contains sound it's gonna put the little sound icon uh, you can lock the clip you can put tags like color tags change the color tags and the most of the time it takes the same color tag for the same uh, type of object so for example it's gonna be red for all the text it's gonna be uh, this kind of blue gray we have for all the dot mob footage so the movie footage uh, stuff like that so then here you have a few basic stuff um, this those three little circles you have uh, that's motion blur then you have adjustments layer and the 3d and so if you want to create this layer in 3d and uh, here you have the composition to uh, toggles so if you want to add motion blur for example add motion blur to this te uh, text Boom, I'm gonna be I have to be sure that it is enabled for the actual composition, otherwise it's not gonna be there. So you wanna be sure that you wanna make it 3D, well be sure to put 3D on. Um so yeah, be sure to have motion blur on for your composition if you wanna actually apply it. Uh so that's the main thing. Then about the few uh standard shortcuts you need to know uh about your gameplay, so the few no, um, standard stuff on your keyboard is S. If you go on your footage, you click on it, and uh, you have you can click on those little arrows. It's gonna show all the different stuff you can do. Um, but to make it more easy, they, I'm gonna show you the no, uh, the most obvious ones, which is uh, S for scale. So if you want to make your clip smaller, it's gonna scale it down, obviously. So it's pretty straightforward if you want to scale. So if you click S again, boom, it's gonna close it. Uh, then you have T which stands for opacity so you might think YT for opacity while well, opacity you can also think like transparency because um, opacity is the transparency like if I lower the opacity it's gonna become transparent um, so yeah it's like transparency uh, then you have R uh, for uh, rotation and uh, that's the the main ones uh, if I'm correct um, I don't think you have a ton of different ones. Oh, P for position, obviously, if you want to position your clip different, but uh, I don't really use it that much. I mainly use just the move tool. Uh, but uh, yeah, position is P. And if you select multiple clips, you have multiple clips. If you click on one letter, it's going to open them all. You see, it's going to open all the, if I, for example, click on S, it's going to open all the skill for those two. 
I click on P, it's going to click, it's going to open all the positions. Uh, so that's the basic stuff in the timeline you need to know. Uh, so I'll be going into animating and stuff uh, in the second video, which I'm going to come like really soon after this one. So, yep, thanks for watching for those little basics. And uh, be sure to check out my part two of this. And uh, I'll thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.